We're playing NASCAR Heat Evolution, everybody. I know my millions of subscribers are watching me all the time. It's a very beautiful thing. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I talk incessantly with my OC. Clear high. You're all clear. We're getting around out here. Beautiful scenery out there. Clear high. And uh, one thing I like about this game is uh, that you can play this game. I'm playing this on my computer, but you can play this game basically with the it's not, it's not an Xbox controller, uh, but it's a it's a controller that's like an Xbox controller. You see, and uh, pick these up about fifteen dollars. Hold your line. You get a pretty Follow. cheap. Uh, Amazon got them. Clear high. And uh, they work just like uh, an Xbox controller. Hold your line. Still there. Car high. The trouble is turn one. So right now we are not sure what lap we're on right now. Clear. We're on some lap, a couple laps. I'm not sure which lap. But we are definitely on a lap here. Coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. So we're kind of going bogus up here. I don't even know why uh, I'm making this video, but I'm making this video because I woke up. Still there? Clear low. Car low. You're all clear. Coming around. I'm currently recovering from some fire ant stings. Uh, it's day number two, I think. Day number three. Let's see, it happened the day before yesterday. Yesterday, my foot was dotted with these raised bumps. And, uh, and this morning, I woke up and they are, they are smaller. I can't. Uh, I have to learn to not go out in places that are not good for me or that put me in my way. Because I am 61 years old, and when you're 61, if you make it that long, uh, I think you kind of have to start being a little more careful. So I'm not going to be fighting around. I'm fire at And if I do go out, I'm going to wear full boots. And even then, I don't really think I want to be in the out there anymore. Except for maybe my cat. All high. In the water. All clear. Because Mother Nature is absolutely, absolutely. Mother Nature does not care about your feelings. Mother Nature does not care if you're rich or you're poor. And I have to be mindful of that. But fire ants, as small as they are, will bite the little hell out of you. And they won't even freaking flinch. They start biting, they just keep on biting. There is no stop. This is not stop biting. These guys do not care, they're just like, oh, it's lunchtime. So what we're doing right now is I'm going to just try to finish out this freaking uh, race, because I'm obviously not going to win. Uh, I had a race where I did 350 laps, but I never really uploaded. I think the file was too big. So that took about three hours to run. So 
So now I'm just uh, trying to complete this space here. Talk a little bit about some insect bites that I've seen from the fire right now. We'll get them next time. We got 23rd. We're going to try that challenge again. Uh, we're going to try to become king of the desert. Uh, let's go with full. We'll go full mode on here. We'll go full ballistic. We might wreck a few cars. Hold your line. Clear high. It might happen. Still there. You're all clear. A little ballistic clear there. High. Nothing too Could bad. Two laps to go. Clear high. Still 
Could have been a little bit worse. Could have been a lot worse. continue our race located in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania Pocono Raceway is sometimes called the tricky triangle due to its unique three turn layout the odd design makes the setup of the car and the crew's ability to make chassis adjustments absolutely crucial here. Often it's the difference between a winning performance and a poor performance. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green light. I got somewhat of a dilemma here. This is 160 laps.
Let's do ten of them. Still recovering from my fire ant bite. Uh, just gotta let the little body do what it does. I saw on uh, YouTube somebody uh, got a whole bunch of fire ant bites and they started popping all the, all the blisters and shit. Uh, I think that's not what you're, you're supposed to not do. So. Still there? Uh, you're all clear. The blisters. All clear. Uh, they've actually gone down the side, so... But, uh... That was your best life ever. Definitely learned a lesson going out the woods, thinking that somebody ain't gonna bite you, so... Or, like, fire ants are good. They don't really care who you are, they don't care about you. All clear. Actually, the fire ant will protect all itself when you disturb the gas, so that's where all the death happens. Protecting the air, protecting the investments. And, uh, they will attack so quick. I was never aware that a fire ant could attack that fast. Because, uh, it's almost like somebody just dumped a bunch of fire ants on there. Still there? All clear. And, uh, yeah, I learned a valuable lesson there. Don't, uh, don't go uh, out the lakes. You're all clear. As beautiful as the lakes are, man, they can uh, be brutal out there if you're not ready. And I'm definitely not ready. I'm not ready to go playing out by the river. But if you do get uh, bit by a fire ant, by ants, I guess the best thing, course of action to do, number one, Still there? is uh, you want to reduce the swelling. So Clear high. Good to wear like an ice pack to the foot. Clear high. Clear low. And, uh, Car low. I'd also recommend drinking a ton of water. Uh, using hydro quarters on the green run. That was your best lap ever. And just basically don't Stay mess low. with the bumps. Still and there? Run. You're all clear. Because uh, they'll heal on their own. But uh, keep 
Still there? Ice on it. Okay. Basically what I eat every day. All clear. Uh, I eat one big thing of fat salad in the morning. And then I don't try to stay away from snacking. Doing all that stuff you do out of boredom. So uh, that's not helping at all. So drink a lot of water. Uh, also, people that are getting older or whatever got health problems. I've been taking some uh, drinking fluid and this electrolyte stuff. It's supposed to like be good for your system. Drink these electrolytes. Get them in a little pill, little pill, pill bottle looking thing. Drink some of those. Put a couple of those tablets in there. Drink some electrolytes. And then just uh, focus on drinking. We're getting around on this uh, track here. Not really trying to beat anybody, just, just messing around. We got 152 laps to go. How much to go for? I don't know if I can make 152 laps on it. I probably could, but I don't know if I can. I'm going pretty slow, going 130. This race here, you can see it sometimes gets up there. You can hit about 204. So, I think I'm going to just do uh, 10 laps on this and then maybe go to the Talladega track. Uh, this one's a little short. It's a good size track, but uh, that was your best lap ever. I think that's a minute. Victory lap. There's a wreck in turn two. Bring it home, Johnny. Alright, so we're going to call it on that track. Yeah, they're going to call it. 